Welcome back to the Civic Side TV News Show. I'm your host, Jake Krause. We're bringing you the latest this week in the world of civic science. Do you remember the annular solar eclipse back in October? I was lucky enough to see it from the highest point in Mesa Verde National Park. Dozens of people gathered with their protective lenses to watch as the moon eclipsed the sun, surrounded by a ring of fire. A park ranger went around asking questions and it was an opportunity for civic engagement with everyone focused on the eclipse. The temperature plummeted and the lighting turned into a golden hue. A full solar eclipse is coming up this year in April and the Simons Foundation has launched the Eclipse Countdown in the path of totality.org. Check it out in the link in the description below. They showed the trajectory of the total solar eclipse, also known as the Path of Totality, and the featured events that you can attend to celebrate the eclipse viewing. This is a great opportunity for engagement with communities across the country, and I'm already planning my trip to see the total solar eclipse now. The next one won't be in the US for another 20 years. You could be a poet and not even know it. A call for poems to the public on Sinison Science resulted in a variety of short poems that's been compiled. This is a creative strategy for public engagement and has left an impression on quite a few. This practice of participatory science engages members of the public in scientific experiments, helping to collect or analyze data. One poem reads, Curious, the youth engages in research, collecting data with scientists empowerment. Now isn't that lovely? Check out the poster created by ECSA Sourcing Group Storytelling and the Arts at the link in the description below. There are a number of civic science fellow positions that are open for applications. These positions start this year and are typically one to two year appointments in partnership with prominent civic science organizations. Examples include studying the impacts of filmmaking and creating professional learning experiences for climate and environmental science education. Check the full list at the link in the description below. That's all for this week's Civic Science News Roundup. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you next time.